Welcome to our YouTube video which is providing updates on the effects of flooding along Whiteman's Creek in Parker Cove, B. The Okanagan Indian Band is meeting this week with evacuated residents to provide an update on the status of the area. The risk of flooding is still very much present, and as of Friday, an evacuation order has been expanded for part of the area, but crews are actively working to prepare for a worst-case scenario. A helicopter will be flying over the watershed to visually assess the situation, while lower overnight temperatures are helping to slow the rate of water coming down the mountain and spread out the flooding to make it more manageable. Crews are doing what they can to reduce the risk of flooding, with five creeks on the west side being monitored as they rise, but haven't yet overflowed. Workers are also attempting to move silt and debris away from the Whiteman's Creek Bridge and a third excavator is being used in a gravel pit with 20,000 sandbags in reserve. The Okanagan Indian Band's emergency support system has been helping those affected by the flooding, and as of Sunday, 55 households have registered with the organization and have received 285 dump truck loads of sand to their sandbagging station. This week the OKIB will be hosting a meeting for evacuated residents, only which will take place at the Best Western Hotel in Vernon at 5 p. Friday. In general, the situation in Parker Cove illustrates the effects of climate change in B. And the risks posed by flooding and fire season. Residents and officials alike must be prepared for the heavy rainfalls, strong winds, and hotter temperatures that lead to these disasters. We hope that conditions will improve with the flooding in Parker Cove and keep everyone safe and secure. Thanks for joining us, and we will continue to update you on the situation as it develops.